guys welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a fawn design review so i'm going to be sharing everything about the fawn design bag and also i'm going to be sharing what's in my diaper bag so you guys will get a little inside scoop on that too um my baby is four months old now so i feel like i've mastered uh well i shouldn't say mastered because i i feel like you don't master it until your baby's like maybe one but i've gone through trial and error of what i don't need in my bag and what i currently have in my bag also the reason that this is out just as like a why doesn't she have that in um is because my baby is sitting right next to me or laying next to me and i'm trying to distract her while i make this video so hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started so i emptied out my bag already um but this is the fawn design bag that i have and the and the very first thing that i want to mention about this bag is that it is huge like so so big um and not like bad and big in a bad way but like big in an amazing way because it just fits so much i was looking at comments um about this bag and people were saying that it was small and it didn't fit everything and someone was like we'll just get the large one and they were like i do have the large one and so i was a little bit hesitant whenever i got this bag but i was like this is ginormous i don't know if that person is sticking their baby in their bag which you should not be doing but i was like this is huge you can fit so much in this bag that person's crazy so yeah first of all this is a huge bag like this is like five of my heads half of my body could fit in this i feel like okay anyways but again not huge in a big way so like when i put it on really cute like size you know so it doesn't like look too big it basically just takes up my entire back which i really love um and the straps are really comfortable and then they're like of course adjustable so but yeah so first of all i want to talk about the, this bag i did not get when uh, i had her obviously i just got this the bag that i did have which i won't talk about because i'm doing a review on this one i really did like that bag it was like pretty like cheap probably like less than fifty dollars um and it was one off amazon and i liked it except there were a lot of things that were kind of annoying about it and one of the things that was annoying was that the width of it is like pretty slim and then it just is long and so because it was long you like basically stack everything which can be kind of difficult when you're trying to search for something quickly because you're like going through all the things you're messing up like things that you rolled and you're just kind of basically like digging around trying to find stuff and that's what i found myself doing a lot but in like this bag you don't have to layer stuff like you can um because it's pretty deep um but it's also very wide so you can put stuff over here put stuff over here there's like tons of pockets on the side which i'll go through um and so i really really like that about it because you didn't have to stick your whole arm in there like figure out where it is and then pull it out um um, it's basically all right here to look at the outside bags or the outside bags the outside pockets um, there's a pocket right here so you can put something in here I would probably put my laptop or my iPad in here which I really like there's a spot for that but in my other bag again like it was just one pocket so I had to stick my uh, when I w would go to work with her I would put my iPad my computer and everything else in there and it was just so much in one thing um but this luckily i can put this i can put something in here and then there's also this little zipper which you can like reach in here and put who knows what secret stuff secret back stuff so there's that and then also there's this these side pockets which i really like um they're wide enough for bottles which you can reach or like i have a water bottle that i'll just stick in here one of the things that I always test with backpacks is if I can reach it from this spot right here. So like if you ever are like having a backpack and you're like trying to get in the pockets and you know all this stuff, sometimes it's really hard to get in pockets. This one is super easy. So if my phone was in there, take it out. Oops. <laughs> um, this, you know, have my water bottle, just like reach in there, take it out, boom. So that's always a test that I like to test out to see how easy it is because as a mom on the go, you're like, where's my water bottle? I need my water bottle, my phone, you know? And it sometimes it can be really hard, but if it's easy, then boom, you got your water. Okay, so then next, oh, forgot to mention probably greatest part of this entire bag. 
um, before we get into the inside. So has straps, but also I haven't even like taken off the sides yet because I just love wearing it as a backpack. Um, but you can also make it a crossbody bag, a shoulder bag, you know, all the variations. And I really love that because Bond bags are pretty pricey, um, but if you think about it, like you are getting a diaper bag and a purse at the same time. Like, so you're not just having to buy a diaper bag that might not be cute. Like the one that I currently have, it was like neutral, I would say. It wasn't like handbag style, but it was like, okay. Um, but this, I get a handbag, I get um, a diaper bag, I get just a cute bag in general, all in one. So for the price, it makes it pretty worth it. Okay, and then, oh, also, forgot to mention another pocket. We didn't even get to the middle. We didn't even get to the inside yet. There's also a front pocket, and then there's this pocket right here. So yeah. Okay, so now we get to the inside, and there's like a million more pockets. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if I could like properly show you guys, but basically there is one, two, three, four, five, six pockets in here. So there's this one that's on the side right here. And then there's a zipper that goes with this one. And that's pretty good amount of space. Um, and then there's four pockets on this other side, if you can kind of tell. So there's like one right there, one on the other side, and then two in the middle. And um, at first I thought those were just wrinkles in the bag, but then I was like, oh hey, they're pockets. <laughs> so that was really cool. So overall, this just has so much storage and so much space. And I just like really love that about it. Um, and then you can put like bottles in this bag and just a whole bunch of stuff. So um, I'm gonna get to what I normally put in my bag. There might be a few things that I'm missing, which I'll just mention, um, but for the most part, they're all right here. So. Um, what goes in my bag and I'll just set it in there without you needing to see but you can see the end result So the very first thing that I always pack is my nursing cover. I almost like 90% of the time don't use it because She hates nursing covers and she likes to be out in the open um, And so I'm like perfectly fine with that but just in case I always have it because why not so then the next thing I have is I have a um carrier a hundred percent of the time i have a carrier in my bag this one is the um infantino carrier and i've only used this like a few times the one that i always have in my bag is the moby wrap and i've used that a million times like it's in the washer right now which is why it's not here um and also i will link all this stuff below so you guys can check it out but that is my favorite wrap to have and that will go in this bag the next thing i have is a burp rag always carry one of these she's not someone who spits up a lot but it's always good to have a burp rag just in case and it's still like a little bit chilly outside so i have her um little beanie in her bag also and i always have an extra pair of clothes just in case because you never know and then of course we have our diapers and our wipes and then we have our um wet wet bag i think they're called um for if you ever dirty something a baby ever dirty something you can put them in this wet bag so i always have this handy just in case and then i have her toys because you gotta keep them entertained somehow um usually for the most part i don't need her toys but i always keep them handy just in case and then like i said i have my water bottle i have my liquid iv and then usually i'll like take some reese's out and throw them in the bag because mama needs some snacks sometimes and then i have this hand sanitizer from baby um Ganix. it's not i wouldn't recommend this for during this time because it's actually not up to standards um but for something quick to use like um after changing a diaper or whatever this is good to have but again like i said i would pick a different hand sanitizer Okay, and then I would um, also have a bottle ready. And then last thing I would keep is her socks. And then I also always pack a few bows just in case. So everything fits in this bag and it's not like super heavy. It's just like regular heavy, I guess, because diaper bags are heavy in general. So that's basically all the things that I pack. I don't overpack diapers anymore and I don't overpack uh, clothes because you most likely only ever need two diapers and you probably won't ever need them and then you 
most likely will only need two pairs of clothes unless we're going to be gone for a really long time which has never happened um then i'll pack more but those are like two and two um i used to pack like a million diapers and a million pairs of clothes just in case and then last thing that i usually pack is a blanket which i put in here already but to show you guys what it looks like on the inside looks pretty chaotic um i'll take the blanket out of here okay so i kind of tried to utilize all of my space so i have a lot of room left if i didn't utilize the pockets then it would be like way high but if you guys can see actually i'll just bring this camera down here so basically what i did is i put all like little accessories in here so socks and bows are in here um i put this is like very messy messily done um but hat and onesie is in here toys are in there diapers are in there um i put the wet bag the wipes and then a few chocolates in here and then this is my burp rag a cover and then this is my uh carrier usually my carrier would be the wrap like i said so it would take up less room um because i could fold it easier um but yeah so i still have like all of this left and then if my blanket were to go in there and the swaddle it would basically just like take up the rest of the room but if i didn't want a blanket that day like i didn't have to and i can still add so much more stuff and then on the side i have my water bottle and my liquid iv the front i don't even think i put anything in the front this side i put the hand sanitizer and there's a little toesy toesies <laughs> um and yeah so i would most likely put like my wallet or something in here and then um like i said my computer back here and maybe something right there of course you don't always have to fill the pockets but um it's nice that there's i can fit so much and i still have like tons of room so So basically that's everything guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I would totally, totally recommend getting a bag. If you are going to spend money on getting yourself a new handbag um, and you're a mom, I would just recommend getting the Fawn Design because like I said, you're getting a um, cute backpack and also a diaper bag instead of, bless you, <laughs> um, instead of getting just like a cheap like neutral looking diaper bag and then also getting a purse or something because as a mom you almost never no you really don't ever unless you're going out by yourself carry a purse you always carry the diaper bag and it's just cute to have one um cute to have a backpack so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and this review but yeah just wanted to show you guys one more time like what it looks like on and yeah uh, but okay hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys later bye